What's up guys, Sure here, and today I am going to go over what makes the Sunburst the absolute best weapon, and kind of the worst, and what situations it's good at, and what it's not, but let's go ahead and start with the good, and that is objective, mostly orb control points, and zone control, and escort. Because those don't really require your kills to give you points. I mean, honestly, the biggest problem this gun does end up having is that it really doesn't give very many points because it promotes body shot kills. And that can give you very few points. And I'll go over exactly how this works and examples of how unbelievably few points you can get with this gun and how that could hurt your team on certain things. But for this, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is kill the other team. And then go grab that ball. And then make sure the other team dies so they can't grab the ball back. And you can shoot so many bullets and get so much damage out on multiple people that you can really end up doing a ton with this gun to save your team, especially on things where like a ball or zone control gives more of the points than the actual kills themselves. Because of this, you can actually end up running out of ammo, which is why I love using Zeus as my backup weapon. And it really ends up making it to where you can just do a ton of AoE damage, which is arrow on effect. Basically, you can kill a bunch of people at once. But the biggest thing that you're going to get the benefit out of is this gun is so unbelievably easy to use. Because you don't have to get headshots, you just have to aim for that body and hit one person in a group of people, and it will hit all of them for unbelievable amounts of damage. And especially on orb, if you get people low this way, that means no one can ever get through your defenses while they have full health, Meaning that even if you die and don't get the kill, you will have their guys low enough to where your ball guys can stay alive. And that is really all that ends up mattering. And it really is just a great thing to be able to go for body shots. But again, the bad problem with that is that you don't get the bonus points you would for headshots. And it can really end up having your score. I know that a headshot seems like it's only two more points. But you don't get credit for things like double kills, triple kills, and elimination streaks for body shots the way you do with a headshot. I'll explain all that later, but basically, in this, you don't need those because all of your points are coming from the orb. And that is why I think that this is an unbelievable tool to use for most players because again it doesn't take a ton to actually be able to be good with this weapon all you gotta do is be able to aim for a body shot be able to just try to move around a little bit if you want to but you don't even have to and remember it did end up getting nerfed when you're not scoped so it really helps to scope but it is a really good and easy to use scope, so it's really not that hard. You just go aim at some people, shoot all of them, get a four at once like it's nothing, have a guy steal your five at once while you're reloading, and then cry about it in a video later. Oh. Yeah, maybe that last advice is probably just what I'm going to do. But anyways, we keep on going and we end up having 26 kills, 11 assists, and winning our team that game all based on just absolutely destroying people. And I love it. But why is it the best for those only? It's because it really just doesn't give you the points you need. As I was explaining before, it really can be a problem. But it does give so many kills so quickly that it gives you that just nice bit of cushion to be able to get the orb and kills everyone so quickly that it really gives your team that little advantage and leg up. And honestly... In all of these maps, you really do have people congregating together. Like in Orb, it's going to be a bunch of people going in close quarters to get the Orb. And all the people spawn in similar rooms. For control points, everybody's going for those hills. And for things like the Escort, it's all going to be based around similar positions on defense. And if you're going for offense, obviously you have to go on top of the cart. And so it gives you a unique ability 
to be able to get people while they're all together and your kills getting less points is not what matters. What matters is the fact that they have less people alive to be able to get the objectives done. And so I think it gives a unique ability for you to be able to go into these kind of game types and use this without it negatively affecting your team by giving the low scores and it creates the unique conditions that a sunburst can really do good damage and have everyone exactly where you need them to be. And the main reason that I'm showing the second version of Orb is that the first one, I just ended up getting a lot of points based on certain factors that I'm actually not sure about. Probably the fact I had so many assists and 26 kills. But in this one, I ended up getting 19 kills and having an okay amount of assists. But when you see the points I get, you'll realize really quick, oh, this is why it's not good in other game types. When you are able to get 19 kills, 9 assists, and you only have 297 points, that is a problem because I had multi-kills like crazy, elimination streaks, and other things that should have given me more points. But I didn't all based on the simple fact of when you get body shots you don't actually get credit for your kills you only get credit for the multi-kill itself so you'll end up getting 12 extra points not two extra points for getting like a headshot or a merciless and sunburst not only when you get body shots does it not give you that shot but it does so few damage that you don't ever get merciless with it and so it has a very low probability of you ever getting those bonus points but it can give you a ton of assist as you can see here and so it's not just about the kills it's about what you can do for your team and getting their whole team low can really help but another thing is can it be good on something like TDM or King of the Hill? And the answer is yes. If you either switch to get a lot of your kills from Knives or your Joker, or you go for headshots themselves, you can end up getting a ton of multi-kills, but you can also get Merciless and headshots and grenade kills and all these little things that will end up giving you a ton of points and making it good on TDM. But it is very hard to do, and it is just much easier to use this on things that aren't TDM. But I did want to go ahead and include me getting tons of multi-kills and doing it in a way that you can get many, many points. Because I don't want to discourage people from using it if they like it. I just wanted people to be aware that it is a problem and it can end up hurting your team. Because one thing is there's a finite amount of kills. That means there is only so many in a game. And if your teammates get somebody low and you steal that kill with a body shot when they could have got the multi-kill with headshots, that actually lowers the amount of points your teams will get. And so it makes it to where even though you're getting more kills, your team is getting less points and it can end up making you lose the game. And this is another thing that happens with the Wasp, sadly. Most people are going to be like, wait, so my KD can go up and all I have to do is make a bunch of people lose the game? Awesome. So that's unfortunate. But for those of you who do care and aren't complete terrible people, I figured I would go ahead and let you know that yes, it can be done in a good way. It's just very hard and it's better if you do it on things like control points and orb. But as you can see here, I got 284 points. So you can end up doing it. You just got to do whatever you can to get those special things done and uh, get your merciless, get your pistol kills, get your joker switching to kind of kills and just stuff like that. And right here, just go ahead and make sure you clear out the hill for your team. Make sure you're getting hill kills. Make sure you're capping. Make sure that you're doing what you can to make sure your team's getting those points and you're going to give your team the win and not just get yourself a higher KD because that's just not cool. I mean, it's nice that you get a higher KD, but it's better if you get a higher KD and your teammates get a win. But I also like to put a Joker with this because it does really good in hills. Um, something like a Porcupine or Dolores also works great with it. But 
I honestly was filming a Joker video before this one, so I just took the clips from that. So it, it ended up working out great. So what you gotta do is just do your best to be a team player because this gun can actually help you out and kind of do the dominant thing of getting those kills. And it does help to end up giving your team the hill more, giving everyone more defense kills, and overall being a good thing even on something like King of the Hill. So I don't want you to think you can't use it for those things. You just got to be careful and it's better to use it for other stuff. And another thing that Sunburst is good for, which everyone knows, is shooting groups of people with it. And look how much insane damage you can do when you have a bunch of people together. I mean, it is just absolutely insane how much damage you can do and how quickly you can do it. And it really does help. You'll get a ton of assist and a ton of kills this way. It just really does end up doing a ton of damage. And I love this gun for that. And we won't go through too many more examples of this because it's literally what this gun's known for is shooting people in groups. But one thing that I like to use it for is shooting even one other person that you can't see because they're hiding behind a wall like a smart person, but their teammates poking out like an idiot person. And so you can end up killing people and getting their whole team dead as well as saving your team because of idiots. But... What most people don't think about is it is so good at killing just single people because it's not really known for that as much as it is known for being really good in groups. It actually kills solo people very quickly and it does end up using a lot of its ammo when it does this, but who really cares? And that's why you're going to have that Zeus as a backup. But it's not just great in groups, it can end up getting those solo people, especially when you pair it with that joker. So go out there, use this gun, and please, don't use it in TDM. But you know what you can do? You can look at how cute Opal is, and sometimes when he gets on the bed, he wants to get pets, but he accidentally overshoots the mark. And so instead of laying his head near my chest, he accidentally comes nose to nose with me, and he's so stubborn, he's like, well, just pet me anyways. And I do, because he's that cute. Alright guys, I'd like to thank my channel members for supporting me, and I hope all of you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a great day.